Today's topic is the kidneys. And our objectives today include learning about polycystic kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, which is actually an umbrella term comprised of multiple kidney diseases, which are long lasting, end stage renal failure, and the treatment modality dialysis. We're looking at not only the clinical aspect, but also the gross parts, and as well as the CT scans and the histological slides. Now, the clinical scenario is this. A 10-year-old boy comes up to you, and you notice visible edema of his face. After examination, you also realize he has growth failure. His height uh, is lower than the norm of his age. And he also complains of his urine being darkish color or cola colored urine is the term we use, classical term. And also there is a bit of flank pain on his side. All of these signs and symptoms are characteristic of a kidney disease. So when you send the boy for an ultrasound and an x-ray, then you pick up that the kidneys, some of the kidney, one of the kidneys looks shrunken or enlarged. Further testing shows on CT that one of the kidneys has so many lumps. This is polycystic kidney disease where one of the kidneys has all these cysts forming on it. Now, there are two varieties. The autosomal dominant, which is present in adults, and the autosomal recessive, which is found in children. So all of these cysts which are forming on the uh, kidney, they will interfere with its functions. And as time goes by, overall, the function will progressively fall down. So... Now, in front of you is the nephron, the unit of the kidney. We can nicely see the afferent and the efferent arterioles. They're entering into the glomerulus. This is where the ultrafiltration happens. You see the glomerulus is surrounded by a Bowman's capsule. And from here we have the proximal convoluted tubule. The urine passes through here. And then into the loop of Henle, which is in the medulla. You can even appreciate the vasa recta here. From there, we go up to the distal convoluted tubule and from there into the collecting duct. This is the entire flow of the urine. But what's different here is the present presence of cysts. These cysts are actually going to cause trouble because they obstruct the flow of the urine as well as they compress the vessels. What will happen is that not only will you have uh, absence of uh, the ultrafiltration, no urine would be produced, but also the reabsorption from the urine which is produced, that will also be hampered. And this will then cause further trouble to the kidney. All of that backflow will then cause pressure and damage. You could even see the formation of stones, and this happens when there is stasis of the fluid. Any form of stasis can predispose to stone formation. 